Well, is it? I'm asking you. Dokkan Battle is currently in its 9th year anniversary, and with that comes multiple new players and returning players. And with that comes plenty of confusion surrounding the game. So today, I'm going to tell you the 5 things you need to know about Dokkan Battle as a returning or new player. So the number one thing I want to bring up, and I'm going to assume that if you're a returning player, you know of this already, so this is going to be more for the newer players. But one of the most important things in the game right now, I'd say, are link levels. Now, link levels, you can go through 1 through 10. 10 is going to be the highest variation of a link that you can get. It is all RNG based on whether, whether or not you actually fully get the level 10 link. But with enough persistence, it's going to come to you eventually. The reason I bring this up is because going from 1 to 10 on some links, like Big Bad Bosses, for example, is a make or break for some characters. Broly does not have Big Bad Bosses, this character right here. Does not have Big Bad Bosses, but some of his links do provide him with substantial buffs at link level 10. Literally, a character can be completely different link level 1 to link level 10. If you want to know how to get your links to link level 10, one of the best stages, in my opinion, to do this is by far 31 4 in the story event which you will find right here 31 4 right here is a short event that allows your characters to raise their links pretty easily also save your boosts for link levels and we'll talk about boosts while we're running through this stage boosts allow you to do get two times as much xp materials and it raises the chances of you getting a link level raise so i say save your boost until you want a link level link levels like i said before are a make or break for some characters some characters links are necessary to get to link level 10 now you can get away with link level 5 in some instances but link level 10 is by far the most important especially for extreme class characters which are the villains of the series just so newer players are aware this is what a link level looks like when it's raised in 31.4 or in general now assuming that you're a returning player and a new player this tip is going to help you out substantially when it comes to link levels you can go over to your training tab and then click the far right button here and this is going to bring you to a point in which you can link level your characters via these orbs now these orbs are pretty rare to get so i do recommend saving them until you're at least link level 9 10 so that way you can get the most out of it if you grind up enough you'll be able to use these orbs to raise your character's link levels so the blue orbs bring you from one to five the purple orbs bring you from five to eight and then the rainbow orbs bring you from nine to ten now another little thing i want to touch on before we end this segment of the video are the keys and this event so this event guarantees a link level raise normally throughout celebrations and events they are going to give you around 20 of these keys and that is in total four runs now, keep in mind that these keys are a little bit more rare than the orbs because you cannot grind them daily. But in celebrations like the ninth year anniversary, they will be provided to you for free. Or you can go to the stone tab and buy some over here. In total, you can buy 20 of these keys a month. They reset monthly. So if you're going to buy these, make sure that you are using them when you absolutely need to another thing newer players are probably going to be a little bit more concerned about is this tab over here your my menu screen so in this screen a lot of things pop up i'm going to help you navigate this uh right over here we have your power level this is your overall power in the game but recently it's mostly just been about how many link level 10s you have uh link level 10s do raise your power level the amount of skill or the amount of orbs that you've put into a character also raises your power level and the amount of events you've cleared etc there are plenty of factors that raise your power level here power level is recently more important than it has been and you will find out because over here if you are over a million power level it provides you with a bunch of buffs to your box like increased drop rates multiple attempts and events and a bunch of other special rewards keep in mind your power level does not reset monthly as this does but 
it does show other players what your box is or how strong it would be or just how many level 10 links you have in general it's a nice little thing that's been implemented and it helps you know it helps it helps players like me with increased drop rates and red zone runs and everything else like that so it's it's a very useful thing for newer players and returning players another thing i want to talk about before i end this little segment of the video is this tab over here you will see this and this is basically just as you clear events and you play the game and do everything that you want to do in dokkan this little bar down here is going to go from one to a max of 12. now the more you can the more bars that you complete the more rewards that are going to be given to you every month so right here you can see i have 10 stones by the end of the month and then over here i would have elder kai's meat which are stamina items keys which are very useful and as you go down if you start out at one you get one stone three you get a total of 15 stones every month just for playing the game and a bunch of other rewards very helpful change to newer players and returning players other than those two things nothing else really stands out as mega important but if you are the sort to want to customize how this looks it is very simple you click on this if you want to customize your friend lead so this is what other players are going to be using in game so no whoever you want to set as that you can through there and that is just what that does and then this is just basically your profile picture on, on like social media or something this just shows your favorite character it, you can set whoever you want it's very simple just click on it and then set whoever you would like as the character you'd want as your profile now another little thing if you want some more customization options is this tab over here provides you with banners so there are a lot of banners that you can get through completing missions in some difficult stages like red zone or just playing the game in total you'll get these random blue pop-ups that show that you've gotten a new banner of some sort one small thing that i want to touch on before we move on to the next segment of the video this is going to be a very quick segment is we have brand new daily events this right here is an orb event i can't do it right now but it provides you with the orbs to be able to raise your character's link levels very important event and i guess to touch on some other stuff a little bit more this is another little event that provides you with some pretty decent stuff it raises the level of your characters substantially uh if you're a newer player you're just starting an account that can actually raise your account level by a bit too but it provides you with some pretty decent awards and if you get launch here you get free elder kai's so very helpful in total this is just going to help raise your resources throughout your box and your account in general um, it's important to do these every day as some of these materials can be kind of hard to get otherwise so during anniversaries dokkan likes to introduce difficult content the last two years we have gotten red zones which have been the most difficult content in the game hands down without a doubt but just recently in the ninth year anniversary which is happening right now we have this which i'm going to label the blue zone because it, it's just the super class variations of difficult content red zone is mostly for extreme class characters blue zone is for super class characters now with these you are provided with tickets after the completion of an event and on top of that with those tickets you are able to summon on corresponding banners depending on the theme of the red zone or blue zone so for example this is a movie boss red zone so the tickets that it provides to you will let you be able to summon for movies ticket summon last but not least i think the thing i want to talk about is equips so just recently we've actually lost our way our main way of getting equips that was in the chain battle but that is no longer a thing on the jp version of the game uh, so now hopefully there's other content added to help us get equips but these are basically like think of them as platinums on legends but functionally they are different so you equip these and they provide your character with stuff like dodge which are things that you can't normally add on to a character if they are 55%. So dodge equips on a character that is 55% that has additional or something already works well. Uh, for example, if I wanted to, I guess just to show you what adding an equip looks like, then we have bronze, silver, and gold. 
gold is only available after you have two dupes of a character silver is available after you get a character link level 10 and bronze is just available for the characters as soon as they're able to be put into the potential system so just to show you what adding an equip looks like for funsies we will add this defensive equip to vegeta here now keep in mind there are different levels of equips there's level seven sixes five fours threes and some of them even have as you can probably see already there are dual equips and these equips what they do is they provide your character with a buff of each sort so some will probably provide you with less for example this one right here is a level up by four and then another attack level by three so it, it depends on what you're adding in there but depending on how they value the equip it'll buff both things but one will most likely have less than the other now it is possible to get equips through daily events for example this event right here provides you with equips daily but if you want really good equips during celebrations they are going to be providing players with events like these and these events basically just give players pretty good equips uh, that you can add on to certain categories for example this event only gives equips to super boss characters which is a brand new category added to the ninth year anniversary with that said let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this video hopefully i did a good job of explaining everything I'm sure there is probably a way that people can dive deeper into this. Other YouTubers that do the same thing. Um, but hopefully I did a good job of explaining stuff. Uh, if I did, let me know down in the comments. And if this video helped you out even a little bit coming into the ninth year anniversary, I'm happy. With that said, everybody have a great day. Try to be better people every single day. And I'll see you all in the next one.